Hey guys, it's Emily and welcome to day one of the reading rush. So it's finally here. It's Monday, July 20th, and the reading rush has begun. So I'm very excited because as I've said in my TBR, this year I will be attempting to daily vlog. Why? I don't know. I honestly do not know why I decided to put myself through this. I feel like this is crooked. Is it better? Yeah. Two years ago when I first participated in the reading rush, which was back then called the Booktubeathon, I felt epically. I didn't vlog, I didn't read, but in my defense, I was in Orlando, Florida for a vacation and I just like, I went to Disney World and I went to Universal Studios, so I didn't really have time to read or to vlog. So I didn't do any of that. And so last year, I was like, this year is the year that I'm finally going to be able to participate. And I kind of failed. I think I read throughout the entire week. However, I vlogged the first half of the week but the second half was just an epic mess so I didn't upload the vlog. I think like I may have had like a mini mental breakdown or something like that and just decided not to upload the vlog but yeah. So this year is a year that I'm going to truly succeed in the reading rush and so I'm very excited. I've done my research. I spent last week watching people's daily vlogs from last year and so I'm excited for this year. Now let's dive into my first read. So I think I will be starting with The Little Mermaid by Anne Christian Anderson because it's currently like 8 a.m. I start work at 8 30 so I think I should be able to read most of this before I go to work and I think this would be a quick and easy challenge to complete on the first day. This is my book for the challenge of reading a book that inspired a movie you've already seen. By the way if you haven't watched my TBR I will link it up above and down below in the description if you guys want to check that out. But yeah I think we'll start with this one. It's about 37 pages I think so it shouldn't take me too long to read and I love this edition it's super pretty so I think we're gonna dive in to that now and then after that I'll get to work. Okay, so it's about 8.30 and I managed to read like most of The Little Mermaid. I have about 10 to 15 pages left, but alas, I have to start work. So I'll get to that and we'll probably finish the book during my lunch break. All right, it's lunch break time. I'm so hungry, so I'm gonna go make myself some lunch and then I'll get back to my books. My very basic lunch. <laughs> Hello, so it is 12.45 and I have finished reading The Little Mermaid by Anne Christian Anderson, which means that I have completed the challenge of reading a book that inspired a movie I have already seen. So I did enjoy this book, I well, this story, because it's only one story, not the entire book here. And I think I would give the story like maybe a four out of five stars. It is super sad, but it's not as sad as I thought it would be. Like, even though the ending is not the one from the movie, it is still like a hopeful ending in a way. And I feel like it feels its purpose. I don't know. I enjoyed it. I thought the writing was absolutely beautiful and I, I like the story. I like the characters and I just wish that it was longer but obviously like it's a fairy tale so it's not supposed to be like super long. So I'm happy that I finally read it. I think tonight I might watch the movie while editing the vlog. We'll see but I feel like I'm due for a rewatch so if I have time I'll try to watch it. But now it's time for me to pick my next read. Initially I was going to read Fence volume 4 but um, given how I only have 15 minutes left before the end of my lunch break I think I'm going to go for something else because for Fence I have to read it outside entirely and I don't know if I'll be able to finish like Fence outside today so I feel like I might as well just pick something else. I don't know if I'm making sense but basically I would rather like just read Fence in one sitting and I don't have time for that right now so I'm going to pick something else. I think I am going to go with The Guest List 
by Lucy Foley. This completes the challenge of reading a book that starts with the word the and so I'm excited. I've heard great things about this one and so I think that's the one I'm gonna start right now. Workday's over! Woo -woo. Okay, so I wasn't able to make a lot of progress with the guest list by Lucy Foley. I read like eight pages since I last updated you guys. I was able to read just like the first chapter and the prologue before I had to get back to work. But now I'm actually going to go to the gym, which is why I'm dressed like this with like my leggings. <laughs> I've been wearing this all day because I wanted to make sure that I would go to the gym. This holds me accountable. Anyway, so I'll try to read a little bit of this while I wait for my mom. It'll be a weird experience going to the gym tonight because it's the first time since the gym like reopened that we have to like wear a mask at the gym. Before it was like strongly recommended and most public places but it wasn't mandatory but now the government has passed a law and like everywhere that's like a public place you have to wear a mask so that would be a weird experience because I've never like worked out with a mask from what I understand you don't have to wear it while you work out like while you're on the machine you don't have to wear it but when you're walking around the gym then you have to wear it so it'll be a weird experience but I'm still looking forward to working out because it's been a couple of days since I've last worked out and I'll be honest though I'm super sore all over I was sore for a couple of days because of my last workout but also <laughs> Why am I so out of breath? <laughs> but also, I got like really badly sunburned yesterday. I was wearing sunscreen, but I went in the pool and like obviously it goes off while you go in a pool and I, I didn't really reapply because I was mostly in the shadow, but I guess it didn't work out well because I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really badly burned. You can barely even tell, but yeah. Now I'm going to read a little bit of the guest list before my mom comes home and then I'll go to the gym and we'll continue reading after. Okay, so it's about 8 p.m. I just came home from the gym and I had dinner and I went on a walk with my mom and the dog and now I think I'm gonna go take a shower and after that I think I'm just gonna get to editing this vlog. I think every night I'm gonna start editing at 8 p.m. That was my cutoff basically. I wanted to make sure that I had enough time to like edit and upload the vlog. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I might continue reading The Guest List by Lucy Foley. I haven't made a lot of progress like I'm on page. 20 so I read a little bit more since I've last updated you guys but yeah I haven't made a lot of progress with this so far I don't have a lot of thoughts because I'm not really far into it okay so it's a little bit later I have taken a shower and I am ready to start editing I think I'm just going to wrap up the vlog here I think I have more than enough footage for today's vlog and I don't think I'll be doing much more reading anyway and if I do I'll update you guys in tomorrow's vlog so today I read a grand total of 57 pages which is not great for a start but I was expecting it being a gym night so I think like there might be a couple of days like this throughout the week where I don't necessarily get a ton of reading done because I'm going to the gym on a work day but oh well. I still managed to complete one challenge and that is to read a book that inspired a movie you've already seen and so for that I read The Little Mermaid as you guys saw so that means that so far I have three badges. I have the book to movie badge, I have the make a book to video badge and I also have the overall 2020 reading rush badge. I woke up this morning found that I had that for some reason but I'm not too mad about today's progress like I knew it was going to be a slower day I'm hoping that I'll be doing a lot more reading throughout the rest of the week make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next vlog and thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and if you did make sure to give this a big thumbs up that really helps out my channel and I guess I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog bye